KPRC2 investigates a banking app that's not a bank. Houston uh, Chime customers contacted our investigator Amy Davis when they say the app froze their accounts and took thousands of dollars from them. Investigator Amy Davis is here now with what she's learned about the company. Amy, good morning. Yeah, good morning, guys. So Chime is what's called a neobank, and these neobanks became extremely popular during the pandemic as people looked for accounts where they could have their stimulus payments deposited. But Chime is not actually a bank. It hands over the banking aspect to two other banks, Bancor and Stride Bank. But when customers have issues with their accounts, they say Chime is slow to respond and eager to take their money. We're pretty good with money. It's why Belinda Mellon and her husband searched for a high interest savings account to let their IRS refund grow. They found Chime with 0.5% interest and opened an account. Mellon transferred their $8,700 tax refund from their PNC bank account to the new Chime account. One day later, I was told that our account was suspended. Chime telling her it spotted unusual activity on her account. The app requested evidence of where the money came from. And I had to send like certain documents for verification. They asked for a government ID. They asked for, um, you know, proof of address. They asked, they asked me to explain in letter, like the purpose of the transfer. Uh, and I did provide all of that. But eight days later, when we sat down to interview Mellon, Chime still had her money locked up. I just want my money back. I looked at my bank account and I said, whoa, what just happened? Ebenita Ahiquia discovered someone drained her Chime account of $3,000 in January by making three withdrawals from a New York ATM. Ebenita was in Houston and explained that to Chime, sending receipts from services and purchases she made here as proof it couldn't have been her. They just kept on saying that they needed more proof, and any customer service agent I spoke to, I said, hey, well, what's the proof you need? What more do you need? Three months passed, and Ebenita says Chime told her it would not be giving back the money. It's just not right. Lauren Saunders is the associate director of the National Consumer Law Center, an organization pushing federal regulators to make neobanks like Chime time comply with the law under the law if you dispute an unauthorized charge on your account the company or the bank has 10 days to investigate that and uh, resolve it and the burden is on the bank to show that something is authorized if you say it's unauthorized. We discovered the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau has received more than 2,200 complaints about Chime since 2020. Many about frozen accounts and fraudulent transactions Chime wouldn't reverse. If they need more time than 10 days, then they have to give you your money back in the meantime, and they can take another 45 days. Both Belinda and Ebenita received their money within 24 hours of our email to Chime, and they both plan to quit quickly move it elsewhere. I'm not going to keep my money with time, that's for sure. Absolutely not, and I urge others not to as well. So by email, a Chime spokesperson told us that it takes these claims very seriously and follows industry best practices to keep member accounts safe. We've posted their full statement on click2houston.com. Now, Chime's not the only neobank out there, so if you do decide to open an account with one of these non-banking banking apps, you want to make sure you check for complaints from other customers first just yeah. to get an idea of how it's going for other people. I went and looked at their frequently asked questions. They do say it right at the top, we're not the bank and we do business with these other two. But then the next question is, why can't we have recourse to the other two banks and Bancor or the right, other one, like Right, like they're the face of Hey, now you got yeah. 10 days, where's my $3,000? Right? right, yeah, it just gets very frustrating. And I think as always, federal regulators are just a little slow to catch up, you know? Mm -hmm. so Technology's ahead of the game. Right, yeah.